Hi everybody, welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, so for this to make sense, hopefully you guys have seen this girl on TikTok. Her at is Melitz Moi. I'll put her page right here. She does the hashtag spinny wheel of chores, I believe is what it is. Basically exactly what the hashtag says. She takes all the little chores and stuff she needs to do and she puts it on a wheel and then she spins it and whatever it lands on is what she does. And I thought that, that could be fun, but not necessarily for chores, for all the small things, all the little random tasks that I need to do that aren't like necessary, but I should get done at some point. So I put them all into a wheel. I have it here in my iPad. Let me be an iPad child real quick. Here's my wheel. I have 14 things on it. Let's take her for a little bit of a spin, shall we? I'm gonna hold it this way so I can't really read it either. What is it? <sighs> Clean out bottom of closet. That's kind of funny because I talked about this literally last video, all the mess in my closet is all on the bottom and this is definitely something I need to get done. There's quite a bit of a mess down there, but let's move over to the closet and let's get started. Guys, I'm not kidding. My sister made popcorn and I ate a single piece of popcorn and I have a kernel stuck in my tooth. So. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, it's quite dark in here, but here is the bottom of my closet. This is most of the mess right here. This is not organized at all. Very atrocious. <laughs> Down here is like... A, one of those like waist sweatbands things I bought like so long ago, but I only use if like my back hurts. It applies pressure. I don't know. I use it on my period sometimes. And then just like some random clothes. There's a bunch of random things under these clothes here too. This is my weighted blanket. I've got laundry in there, an empty Lego box. I've got boxes of clothes back there that I just haven't organized yet. I think I'm just gonna start with pulling everything out and then we'll go from there. here on the side and it looks so clean and obviously I have all of my clothes pushed back right now just for ease of cleaning and everything but normally they would all be pushed forward just so it looks a little bit nicer and on this side I got rid of so much junk and this is like okay this one is honestly just my junk drawer so I'm leaving it but I got these like somewhat organized and designated for certain things which is fun and good I've got like my sunglasses organized over here here is the official after so I think it is like a full week later, but we are here today. We're gonna do some more spinny wheel of chores. Okay, so here is the updated wheel. Let's give it a spin and see what our first task is for day two. What is it? Decorate windowsill. Oh, that's a cute fun one. Okay. I like kind of forgot I put that on there I was like, oh, it's gonna be folding my laundry or doing something. I don't really want to do but oh decorate windowsill is cute Okay, yay. Let's do that. This is my windowsill. I also have this poster up because if I don't everything is completely backlit <laughs> been a little while and I finally settled on what I would like my windowsill to look like and I did find a plant of mine that I can actually incorporate into it which I'm very excited about. Let's put it all together. As you guys saw on my windowsill before, I had this guy on there. This is my disco mushroom. This is actually from Shein, if anyone's interested. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna take a command strip because this is just technically styrofoam with these glued on. I'm gonna take a command strip and I'm gonna hang it like that. I think that could be cute. I also had this on my windowsill, but I had it laying down. Now I'm gonna hang it up on this wall flush because in the sun you can really see the emerald sparkle. Girl measuring? Yep. Landed. 
want to make those people <laughs>officially finished redecorating my windowsill made myself a nice little afternoon pick me up so we finished decorating my windowsill so that means i can remove this from the wheel now we can spin for another task <laughs> oh it's fold laundry okay let's fold our laundry <laughs>clearly did not take nearly as long as I thought that it would somehow it always takes me like a week or two weeks to fold and then it takes me under an hour to put it all away I think we'll maybe do another two spins to finish off the video round it out at a nice solid five let me know if you guys are enjoying this so far if you guys think that this would be a good series to make on my channel give me a comment down below and let me know because this is definitely fun and even if I don't turn it into a series I think this might be uh, how I get myself to do some random chores from now on I don't that girl Melitz Moa, she's on to something there. Let's do another spin right away. Let's do a new spin. Sing on. Sing on. Thrifted bookshelf. This one, it's not hard, it's just tricky. I will get the shelf and then I will explain what I mean by thrifted bookshelf legs. Also, yes, I changed out of jean shorts into comfy shorts because I'm not going anywhere and these are cute too. Okay, y'all, this is the shelf. I love her. I just don't have these on so I don't get a ring light reflection in it, but this is the shelf. I was looking for a shelf like this for so long because Samantha Jo, one of my favorite YouTubers, vloggers, she has a shelf kind of like this. I don't know if she thrifted it or if she bought it brand new. It's a lot bigger than this, I believe, and I think hers is maybe yellow. As soon as she got that one and I saw it in her old place, I wanted one like that so bad. I thought it was so cute. And then like a month ago, I finally found one. Like literally since that video, I have been looking for one. And as much as I would love to have it in my room, I do not simply have the room for it. And so I haven't done anything to it yet. Why I called it thrifted bookshelf legs is because these are like screw in. They're not glued in. So the legs all the way from the bottom to the top between everything is just screwed into each other. So I need to find a way to get it all as tight as possible. And then when I have that done, I'm gonna wood glue around them because it's not a very sturdy shelf. I'm gonna attempt to tighten these as much as I possibly can. So that didn't take like took like literally five minutes. They are as tight as they can be. Next steps are gonna be wood glue, lots of sanding, and then a lot of painting. That I'm not tackling today. This was purely just making the legs tighter so that they would be less wobbly. That makes this spin finished. Okay, hi all. We are back for our last and final spin of the video. Okay, what are we gonna get? Alter pink shirt. Okay, that sounds quick and easy and kind of fun and something that I have been needing to do for a few months now. Let me go get the shirt. Okay, so this is the shirt. You might recognize her from my closet clean out video. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll link it somewhere on the screen or in the description if you guys want to watch it. And I usually do an alteration pile and this is the only thing I put into it that time because all I literally need to do is make the straps a couple inches shorter. And that is so simple with something this small. So I'm gonna hand stitch it and then we'll be right back. This is not gonna take me very long at all. I don't know why I've been putting it off for so long, especially since I've wanted to wear this multiple times and I haven't been able to. Be
update of the video. I have finished the shirt. The last minute decided to crisscross the straps in the back, which I decided to do after I already cut them. So I might one day switch it back to just regular straps instead of cross, and that's easy enough for me to do anytime in the future if I really want to. Yeah, the top is done, and now I can wear it, which I am very excited about. Okay, that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed doing this. And again, if you guys liked this video and would like it to be turned into some sort of a series, definitely leave a comment down below letting me know. Leave a like, subscribe down below, whatever side it's on. And I will see you guys all next week. I love you all so much. Bye.